Good morning everybody and welcome to the Gallant Fuse daily news update for Friday the 20th of January 2023. My name's Colin and I'm here to give you all the latest Rangers news to round off the week on this very icy Friday morning. If any out and about, just be careful. I nearly decked it a good few times on the way to the bus stop. Um, but yeah, as, as I said, rounding off... Um, Quite quite a busy week of Rangers news without much happening, which is a bit frustrating because there's been a lot of a lot of transfer speculation with nothing really going over the line. But hopefully that's all about to change. Um Sky Sports last yesterday, uh they they reported that the the Campbell will be moving to to Iwerox and you tend to find when they do a piece on it, it's as good as guaranteed as you can get. So we're expecting that uh, Todd Cantwell will be completing his medical today and hopefully signed today, if not tomorrow. Um, it's really good to see that we're going to get somebody over the line. We're now well over halfway through the through, through the transfer window, and this is our first signing. But I think it's if. If the other night is anything to go by, and um, we had a full review of the Command game on our live stream pod, uh, also available on Apple and Spotify. Um, but if the other night is anything to go by, we do need a bit of freshness in sooner rather than later. Um, and, you know, obviously it will give us an immediate boost for this season where we're going to be focusing on the Cups, but also gives a platform to build on for next season. So, Hopefully Cantwell, um, you know, we get him over the line today, if not Monday. Um, Morgan Whitaker, there's still been a lot of chat around around him. Obviously, I spoke yesterday about the kind of back and forth between the Swansea City manager, Russell Martin, formerly of this parish, and our own Michael Beale, where Russell Martin was saying that they'd rejected a bid, but um, I think Michael Beale was maybe being a wee bit coy, saying... Um, they weren't aware of that, so the <laughs> the chat coming out from Swansea City's camp is that they are aiming to play him um, or have him involved in the squad for their game on Saturday. Obviously, having been on loan to Plymouth already this season, if he plays for Sw- Swansea, rules him out of any January transfer because you can't play for three clubs in the, in the one year. So it's really hard to say if this is... If they're trying to play chicken um, with, with Rangers, if they're trying to really force a, a higher bid through, or they might just really fancy the player, but I think either way that Rangers are interested in them. Um, it's given the need of the squad. Um, I think like most fans, um, I, I think we do need a... Uh, and maybe a dynamic, um, deep line or box to box midfielder, a number six and a number eight, a number, uh, another attacker. Given we've got the kind of resurgence of Sakala, Morelos, and Kent, and Antonio Joa due back soon, and Hadji and Lawrence due back soon, uh, I wouldn't be too disappointed personally if this is one that waits to the summer. But I, I think it's. Just wait and see, really. Um, this one will carry out into next week, I'm sure. Um, on the subject of a, um, of a kind of, you know, the, the dynamic um, box-to-box, like forward-thinking midfielder who can start from deep, Nicholas Rastian, his name's appeared so... Uh, I don't know how many of you will will remember, but he, he's been a name that's came up and down um, in the in the kind of Rangers transfer mill since the summer. Um, in the summer, Rangers were rumoured to be transferred, uh, rumoured to be interested in a transfer, but standard wages price was six million euro at that point. Rangers, you know, well out of their price range. Um, since then, uh, Nicholas Rasson has taken a wee bit of a half and he's actually been training with the under-21s because he was really disappointed that he didn't get a move in the summer. Um, over December, his name started to pop up again because he was training with the under-21s. He's fallen out of favour um, because he's trying to force a move and it's we've now got some really 
really trusted um, trusted outlets saying that the moves on to Rangers. Um, when I talk about SM Media, and the fourth official, um, don't want to be biased. I'm also part of the the Rangers coverage, but the fourth official are pretty confident that that's going to go through in the next few days. Um, so Nicholas Rassin, um, that this would there will be a fee involved because he, he's out of contact in the summer, um, and uh, we could sign him for a Bosman, but it looks as if. It suits all parties, the player, standard age and Rangers to get him through in January. I'll be honest, um, I'm always a wee bit funny when I hear about players kind of down in tools and trying to force a move. Um, on one hand, it shows that he's really, really keen to get to Rangers. On the other hand, um, I'm thinking, <laughs> when is he going to do that to us and how's that going to look like? Because um, he's... Um, he, he is, by all accounts, he does see my talent. Um, Twenty-one year old, um, well over a hundred um, first, uh, you know, first team appearances um, already in his career. Um, he's re- very much seen as one of the leaders in that standard league side, or he was before he, um, his his attitude maybe took a took a dive. Um, he can play that number six, that deep line midfielder role, or he'll be a bit further forward, right in the central of the park and. But what I gather, he's he's very comfortable at taking the ball on the turn and playing through the lines. Probably what we wanted Stephen Davis to be doing this year. Um, you know, we see Stephen Davis as a a deep line midfielder alongside John Lundstrom, but they both do completely different jobs. So I think this is somebody who can create from deep and um, you know play through the lines. I think that's what we needed. How often do we revert to type? where we're unsure what to do with midfield, so it goes out to either full back and we cross the ball in, and the hammer throwers, uh, you know, play for uh, the majority of Scottish sides. Um, you know, they, that's their bread and butter, they'll deal with cross balls all day long, so it's good to see that maybe somebody coming in with a bit of creativity. Um, 21 year old, if we're going to get him on a fairly cheap, um, a cheap price tag, we should, you know, realistically that this has fallen into the that um, that buy buy low sell high strategy that we're trying to do. We've seen it with uh, Calvin Bassey. Um, if all goes well, then he shouldn't really be at Ibrox in two or three years' time. We should be selling him on for a math, massive profit. Then he's the right age to do that. Twenty-one year old and already a lot of experience. So. Despite my initial reservations of, you know, he's down in tools, don't know what that looks like, then I, I think it's all points to a, a very, very good bit of business. So I think um, Todd Cantwell, to just summarise, Todd Cantwell should hopefully be here today or Monday. Nicholas Rasson looking quite likely at some point next week. Morgan Whitaker, I think we're going to have to wait and see how this plays out. Um, also, there's a bigger fee involved, and that's just... That'll be down to the negotiations between both clubs. Um, staying on the kind of transfer subject, um, but probably more of a um, an outgoing. Um, Josh McPake and Guy Kennedy both on loan at the moment um, at Queen's Park and Falkirk, respectively. Um, it's reported in the Glasgow Times and other um, Rangers news outlets that. Rangers are looking to recall them in January and move them on elsewhere. Um, so as a, a, a couple of names mentioned um, for who are interested in Kai Kennedy, uh, the big one being uh, Tampas from from America, uh, potentially alone or with a, a, a view to buy. Um, I don't know how much of that is just uh, speculation, but I do see it likely that both of these coming back and probably more likely that they'd move on permanently. Um, you know, if I look at both their careers, um, Kai Kennedy was a really, really big um, big name coming out of the, the youth team maybe three, four years ago, same time as Nathan Patterson, but he's never really hit the heights. Um, he's been on a few loan spells with mixed degrees of success. He's doing fairly well at Falkirk, but in League One, you'd really be expecting him to absolutely set the head of the light and and be a, a real standout like we should be hearing about him as Rangers fans if he's doing that well but he's not so 20, 
20 year old he's still a young guy but it's probably going the same way as Roy Middleton where he does have a career ahead of him just not at Rangers at this point in time um, I think he's got all the talent in the world where he could potentially go into a, uh, like develop a, a really strong career but um, I think he has to just be settled somewhere for a few years so um, if he does come back in January I'd be really surprised if Rangers uh, put him out on loan again Josh McPake's uh, another one um, very similar to Kai Kennedy. He's there's been a lot of chat around him, and I, I think a lot of frustration um, when he comes back and plays for the B team at Rangers. He he's been head and shoulders above others in the midfield area. Um, when he goes out and loan it, again, it's really he's struggled with consistency. If I think about his first loan in the Championship with Dundee, um, he struggled for any game time at all, and I don't know if that's just maybe getting used to new environments or I don't know the, the style of play or it could be any number of things but he's been on he's actually been in a few different loans and at a higher level than Kai Kennedy he's been um, in the, uh, the English League 2 and now he's playing in the Championship for Queen's Park um, the shortest Championship I should say and he's you know he's doing fairly well for a high flying Queen's Park side 22 22 games, um, four goals in that time from midfield, and I've always really liked to look at Josh McPake over the last few years. Um, probably mainly so because we it's an area in the Rangers first team that we um, like we know we need we need a bit of fresh blood in. Um, probably why I tend to warm towards guys like Josh McPake, Cole McKinnon at Partick, or even Charlie McCann who's in and about the first team right now. Um, again, I think this might. After three, four years of being out on loan, I just can't see Rangers wanting to bring him back. Um, so I think I'd be very surprised if it would be another loan at this stage. It's, he's 21 years old now, um, and we're bringing through guys like you know Malik Tillman, who's a year younger than him, albeit in a slightly different position, but the, the point still stands. So um, uh, if that is the case, I'd wish them all the best, both of them, um, in their careers. And I don't know, maybe if we do move them on permanently, we can maybe sneak in a wee cause with maybe a potential option to buy back or a sell on fee. Um, but again, we'll wait and we'll bring you updates as and when they happen on them next week. Um, that'll be all for me for today and this week. Um, uh, as I've said throughout the, the week, um, this is this shows just something that we've got to trial for probably next week and the week after just to see how it gets on. Um, we'll have a couple of, couple of other different voices um, on next week. I'll, I'll I'll likely do one with Davey T of the pod and um, we'll do one together. Steve Galdo should be making a wee return um, to give a morning update and maybe one or two other voices as well. Um, uh, our weekly pod uh, dropped last night, Thursday night. That's available. The video is available on YouTube and the audio is available everywhere else you get your podcast for a full review on the Kilmarnock game and you can get the other boys' opinion on the, the three the three transfer rumours as well. But until then, um, we'll, we'll speak to you again on Sunday, reviewing hopefully a, a cup tie win against St Johnston. So until then, have a good weekend and thanks very much for listening, folks.